in the toughest moments of my life, you look back and they've been the best. They've just been the best. They've been the moments that I've learned the greatest amount. They've moved me forward on a trajectory of learning and knowledge and understanding better. In the moment when you're right in the pit of it, it sucks. Yeah. Right? It's like day, it's like day to day and hour to hour. Yeah. But once you get through it, because we all have gotten through it, we're sitting here, um, you look back and then now you have more tools in the tool belt to approach the other harder things in life. Right, right. And I just know daily, like, what's the best thing to do, like, the hard thing? Yeah. Eat that frog, right? Eat the hard thing. So what you, what, what, what do you tell people? You're not allowed to tell them the same thing. I do aerobics before I hit the weights because I hate aerobics. That's fine. <laughs> do, do the hard things, right? Is that the hard thing? That's what thing? they say about make the bed, right? Yeah. The same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah make the bed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, make the bed. It doesn't have to be some crazy, amazing, but, like, the core of who you are. Like, what do you tell the world? Probably the things you've told your kids forever. <laughs> what, do you, what do you tell the world? I just want to say stop being stupid. That's what I tell them. Stop thinking, stop being stupid. But Well, I, you know, I, and I want to say the same thing as Carl, but I mean, it, it's similar. I mean, good gosh, you live with somebody for this long, right? You kind of have a little bit of similarity, but it really is just open your eyes, open your eyes and look around and see what's happening and think about, do you, do you really want to buy into this um, agenda? You know, do you really want to buy into that? Or, you know, what do you see for your life? What do you really want for your life? And is it just this numb, go with the flow, um, easy? And and I'm not saying everybody has an easy life. I'm not saying that. But there's just so much focus on convenience and ease and, oh, it shouldn't be hard or you owe it to me or that sense of entitlement. There's a lot of that, like we were talking about earlier. You know, it, it doesn't feel good unless you work for it. I know that. There's not there's not a, a payoff, really. I mean, it might be a short-term payoff, but but work for your shit, you know? How, how do they start this journey? If someone was never taught this, right? Let's say they maybe even didn't finish high school, but someone's listening to this. Where do they start this journey? Is it picking up a book? Is that like, what's, what's this journey of learning? Because you're learning and teaching yourself something, right? right. And your mind is growing. Reading books, I, it's funny, so I'll, I'll share with, as you guys think about this, I remember in some of my poorest days, because um, I've been through a couple different moments. I mean, there was a housing crisis back in 2000, 2009, and that was the business I was in, so <laughs> it was almost a disaster. Yeah, I was three weeks away from total financial disaster in my life, and for some reason, like I turned off cable, couldn't afford cable, right? Uh, everybody saw me as a successful six-figure realtor. It's like, well, I knew how to do that well, but things weren't going well. And I decided to open this company three months before the bubble burst. And, um, but so since I turned off cable, I only had local channels and up here, it was a PBS. It was a channel 48 and I would listen to Charlie Rose in the evening, just interview people, all sorts of people. And then I came across a guy named Wayne Dyer. Yeah. Dr. Wayne Dyer. And it was the beginning of my mind growing in different ways. And I'm not just some follower of this guy and all that stuff, but he was in Hawaii. Um, and you, I just started thinking differently. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I did. I started listening to people that had different thoughts or different ways or different ideas. And he talked in such a calm manner. Yeah. He really does have that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so that was it for me, but is it, is it meditation? I'm not a meditation guy, but it helps so many people. Yeah. Is it some of the Eastern medicines and philosophies? Is it, like Confucius, is it picking up meditations by Marcus? Or like, what? What do you think? Where, well, where can people start the journey? Well, I think it part of it is being open to other possibilities, being willing to look at your worldview and and understand that it's yours. It's that's your worldview, and think about expanding that. You know, being willing to go, okay, where? What do I not see? I always personally. <laughs> I'm doing that a lot recently lately regarding some things, but I'm always trying to find out, okay, where's my blind spot? Because we have one, right? We just don't know it. And so if we can start to think that way more often, I think that's helpful because it does expand your mind to your point and it helps them with personal development and so forth. So I think that's where the, you know, meditation is a concept or, or prayer or however you want to approach that. It's dialing back the background noise of just day-to-day life and, you know, the, a lot of the answers people want, are they're out there, but you don't see them. I mean, this stuff's walked right in front of you. 
I mean, I've missed who knows how many opportunities because it just went right by me and I wasn't uh, able to see it, you know. So, so to be able to relax, dial down that background noise of life and, and just try to process what's out there. And you'll still see things that are there for you, but you, if you're, um, you know, stuck in the moment and, and of the day-to-day rut of things, it's going to walk right past you and you're going to miss it. My best you know. moments now in conversations are listening to someone that has an opposing view of me and mine uh-huh. and just listening and saying, what if? Doesn't mean I have to end up agreeing to them, but just process it. Right. Yeah. Process it and say, well, what if they're right? Yeah. yeah. What if is that? that's more of a truth? That's evolved my brain, my mm-hmm. emotional intelligence, being able to calm down, realizing like, you know, I'm not the starring show in everybody else's <laughs> world. Star There's the a star different piece. point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, I think that's threatening to so many people. It can. Yeah, it can be because it's like, wait a minute, what? you know, and it kind of dovetails into self-esteem, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. 